Okay, somewhere out there, there is a monkey who is hearing a whole lot of evil. Hmm. Oh my, this is someone's whole collection of little miniature oil lamps. No, I'm not seeing anything Christmassy, but what is this? Are you real or are you Memorex? But this, these are good. This Artland really Prescott. What you got? Oh, those are cute. Oh my gosh. Sometimes you see something you've never seen before. I've been a reseller for nearly 40 years and I can't imagine my life without thrifting. I've learned about a lot of things over the years and I love to share my knowledge and adventures with you. So let's go be profitable and make it fun. Okay, I am sure somebody can relate, but it is literally four o'clock in the afternoon and I had planned to be at this Goodwill this morning. Where does the day go? Where does it go? I mean, don't get me wrong. I got a lot done this morning. I started cleaning my patio. I cleaned up after animals. You know, that's a never ending chore. I literally scrubbed Eileen's house carpety thing. Um, what else did I do? I got my car washed. The handyman was there to help Noah put together some additional stuff on his summer. I mean, there was a lot. There was a lot that got done. But it didn't feel like it took till 4 o'clock until I just now looked at the clock. But that's okay. Because usually around 4 o'clock, they bring out some new carts. So I am hoping I have timed it just right. But we won't know unless we get inside there. So let's go get shop done. All right, we are at the Rainbow Goodwill. One that I really, really love to shop. I mean, you got choices of which door you want to go in. Here we go. This is the store that's just been completely redone and it looks like they're finally finished. So let's get our lucky cart and let's get going. Oh, they put in all new checkout stations. That's super cool. Okay, it's really all new and it's purple that we're looking for. Okay, of course, one of the first things I see is these amazing little wood kitty cats for $3.99 each. They're going in the cart. Okay, let's see what else we can find. I see Maxine trying to figure out what she is. Oh, she's a bank. I love Maxine. Wow, look at all those worthless pennies. Maxine's Bitter Blend. She's in pretty good shape. I would think there would be some chipping on this, but there's not. So oh, this is the store I absolutely can't get a signal on, but eight bucks. Usually Maxine things can sell in the 15 to $30 range. If she was in the $30 range, this price would be okay, but not knowing a step. Okay, I am, I'm gonna put this in my cart and see if I can get a signal. Okay, fortunately I was able to get a signal and saw that these are selling, well, actually I didn't even try to pull up solds. I just saw that there's several available in the 12 to 14 range. So we cannot pay eight. And so it goes. Had she been under $5, I wouldn't even have tried to like look it up. B. Smith with style. Kind of plain, simple, nice. candles. Now that I'm looking for the battery operated candles, I probably won't find any. That's usually the way it goes. Let's see how much this little wood elephant is. $2.99. That's not bad. He's not, again, like a huge, huge money maker, but he's one of those bread and butter items. He did have little tusks at some point. Somebody might have pulled him out if they were ivory and not able to be uh, sold with those in there or you know they just wanted to tuck away the ivory um, $2.99 I think we will pick him up I feel like I just need a critter category in my shop this is kind of creepy looks like somebody kind of handmade that mask oh I just mm, yeah not my thing just really not my thing okay we got some party light 
candle holders here. Kind of nice, but I'm going to stay away from it. This is pretty easily found. Doesn't generally bring a whole lot of money unless it's like one of their really, really special discontinued, can't find it anywhere pieces. And those are few and far between. Worry less, pray more. I like that. Nice little box. Wait, how do you, oh, there you go. Pretty clean inside. How much are you? $7.99. Wait, what was our color? Purple. It's not purple. So that will have to stay here. Oh, look at this right in front of me. Okay, who else thought it was a turtle? I super duper thought it was a turtle. Oh, no. I did not know it was a, a swan. That's funny. I totally saw turtle. But I do see cat with a purple tag, which is half price. It's a trivet made by treasure craft what it's a treasure craft cat trivet say that three times fast i will pick that up for 250. okay let's see what we've got over here boy that party light stuff is it's like everywhere it's everywhere these are oh oh i've seen those before it's like the little stacked like a little iceberg they're nice just not great for resale that looks like a looks like a little outhouse, but it's not. It's a it's a little lantern candle holder thing of a daily. See what else we've got here. I know. I see the frog. I see the frog in the chair. He is five ninety nine. The chair is broken, and he is. How are you strapped in there? Oh, you're just wired. Because this looks like one of those Kathleen Kelly critters. Now I don't see a tag. I think he's he's just a fun little frog that we're gonna we're gonna leave him. We've got a nice little nativity set here. These are actually wood, right? No way. Are they pottery? They're very lightweight, which but now that I look, it does look like more like a clay. Okay, they are clay and broken. Like, I would even just pick up the animals on this set if they weren't broken because nativity animals can do quite well all on their own. And then we're looking and we've got, we got, I don't know if you're a wise guy or if you're, are you supposed to, are you supposed to be an angel? Is that a wing? I think that's supposed to be an angel. An, an angel with a mustache and one wing right am i seeing what i'm seeing there tell me if i'm missing what that is there and then we got two and then oh i don't know i'm so confused we shall just keep going trudy oh two if there's any other excitement oh my somebody made a bookend well somebody probably manufacturer made a bookend out of one of these oh it's pure one out of the little they call these an anemone um, they're usually like wall hangings very popular in the mid-century I don't know that a single one of those is gonna really float my boat today Ooh. Oh, you're a jar. Oh, you're like a hobbyist piece jar. $2.50. She's sitting on a stool. I don't know how old she is. I don't think she's super old. And I'm kind of trying to get a look at her face without the tape, just to get an idea of the detail. Got a little bit of chipping. How old? How, how old? How much was it? $2.50, though. She's pretty awesome for $2.50. I think I will get her. Oh my gosh. Look at her. Huh. That's pretty awesome. But we will leave her. See what else? Oh, that's a very broken willow tree. I mean, if you ever wanted to see what the inside of a willow tree looks like, 
you know, the figurine, not the tree. That's it. That is broken resin. Oh, very cracked. No name. Kind of cool. Wish you weren't broken. You know, I'm looking at these thinking they will go up on my little bird wall. I still have a couple of spots for some little accent pieces. And they're just plastic, but you know, from a distance, and my bird wall's way up high. From a distance, I think these would look really good. I just I just added some pieces to it this morning. And I think next week we will add these. Okay, somewhere out there there is a monkey who is hearing a whole lot of evil. Hmm. Oh my, this is someone's whole collection of little miniature oil lamps. I am gonna pick out some of these uh, because they are really collectible. They're $6 each. Looks like they just came out today too. So let me see, made in Hong Kong. Yep, they are vintage. Let me see which ones ends up in the cart. So these are the ones I left behind. These. I'm not even sure what kind of shade would go on these. Uh, not something traditional and easy. Oh, look, another, another leaf. So I left, I left those, and I left the flashed ones where the flash is wearing off. You can see the green, the red. It's all really wearing off. These didn't super excite me. So let me show you what I got. I got all these and they range like the bigger ones are $5.99 and the little ones are $1.99 so I'm pretty happy about that. I will now be keeping my eyes peeled for little shades that may have gotten separated and displaced somewhere else like this is a shade off one too big for the ones I have in here. Well, wow, would that go on there? I don't, that kind of would work, wouldn't it? <sighs> Should I get that to go on that? Is that, hmm, you know what? It's, it's a buck 99 and it does fit. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to get that one to go with that. See, that's what I'm talking about. Got to kind of look everywhere after the fact. And okay. I don't see any others. Oh, it's way too soon to be thinking about wreaths. It's a cute little aperitif glass. Okay, let's see. Oh, it's a pretty little Christmassy print. I don't need that. These are fun. Little mason jar drink set it's ten dollars don't really need it i feel like this is the top of a box <gasps> oh the wood section's right behind me too i wonder i wonder if we can find it's oh what do you think look at that look at that now they have that price separate from that because I don't think they knew that went with that. And I think I'm going to put that in my cart and see if they'll give it to me for just the price of the box. Uh, let's see. Christmas lighted window decorations. Hmm. No, I'm not seeing anything. Christmassy, but what is this? Joseph about it's a TB holder. What a TB holder? <gasps> Toothbrush holder. <laughs> okay, I got it. I got the TB now. It's kind of. I'm thinking like, what else could you use that for? Because it doesn't really look like a traditional toothbrush holder. I feel like it should have another purpose in its life, but. We'll leave it there. Let somebody else figure that out. Let's see who makes you. Oh, you're you're very modern. Okay. Put you back. Oh, how cute is this guy? I feel like a lot of these got made like by Target and such, so the value went down from 
the original introduction of like the gnome cookie jars. $4.99. Not a bad price, but I think we're gonna leave him and we're gonna look at him. Is his hat broken? No, I think he's just made that way. See, he's a dollar ninety-nine. He kind of goes with those other little kitties that I already bought, so I'm gonna grab him. Oh, what are you? You have a lot of going on there. Like, I feel like that was glued onto there at one point. I don't, I don't think we can. I don't think we can deal with you, buddy. Which is unfortunate because I like you. Okay. Let's find some more kitty cats, though. I am looking for kitty cats. And maybe dolphins. Oh, that's just very cheap, touristy kind of a thing. Okay. It's kind of adorable. A little painted. It's a, oh, it's a flower pot painted, made into a bell. It's a nice idea. It's not for us, but it's a nice idea. All right, let's peek in the wood section. I'm really drawn to this. I know it's a newer piece. Oh, $7.99. Yeah, it's all dependent on the price because this could be like a foundational piece for one of my projects, but not at $7.99. I can get too many things at like the $2 price point. Anybody know what this would be used for? Are you real or are you Memorex? Nope, you are the fake version. You know, I showed recently in a comparison video like how much the fake coral sell for because you can't get real coral anymore. Uh, so I'm torn because I kind of want this, but I kind of don't want to pay $6 for it. The piece aside, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say you could sell this for about 15. Oh, it's sharp. Six, yeah. I think I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it, I'm gonna be good. And the reason I'm not getting it for myself is I have lots of real coral. Um, if this wasn't chewed up on the corners, I would be very tempted with this little jewelry box. It is older, it is cool, but it's just got a lot going on there. <gasps> Seahorse! Those are fun. Oh, these are nice. Let's see what kind of condition the coasters are in. Oh, missing, missing a handle. When you find these, they will sell well, but they need to be pretty much perfect to get a price that's worth picking them up that's that's unfortunate it's almost worth like getting it and you know keeping those coasters for when you find one that's like missing the coasters I'm not gonna do that I'm not because I will lose track of it but it is it is an idea this looks old this looks like could be no I think it's a reproduction the drawer just doesn't look right I think it's an older piece. I don't think it's an antique. $7.99 is not a bad price. That is a really fun decorative piece. I think I will pick that up. And I love li giving little things away in my live sales. These are only 99 cents each and they're vintage and they're fun. I will grab those. The colors on this kept catching my eye. It's a homemade piece. That's like a painted key. That's a painted key. I don't, these are like clay kind of lumped together. Okay, somebody's little little project there. That's, that's fun. Mr. Bacon's Big Adventure. Who's Mr. Bacon? Oh, he's really uh, Mr. Bacon. Like, it's just like really a thing. Oh, you've got a big dark board on you that I can't even move. Oh my goodness. Oh gosh. Okay, stand, stand by. I'm kind of enamored by this game. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's got the little spinner on here. He, his goal is to get to the frying pan. Does he know what he's doing? I mean, come on. Mr. Bacon. Let's see if the instructions... Oh, instructions are here. 
not recommended by cardiologists. <laughs> 2009. Mm, I'm very tempted, but I get the feeling it's possibly not all here. It looks... There's only one. Well, there's four. There's four. Oh, good. Contents. One meaty game board, four bacon strip playing pieces, and 24 cards. I don't think there's 24 cards there anymore. Okay. All right, we're gonna we're gonna leave you, Mr. Bacon. I'm sorry. Somebody's gonna pick you up though, for sure. That that is just a great thing. Somebody will find you and love you. Okay, let's see. That is a wood box. I don't know why it's got the little thing in the center. What am I missing there? What was that originally for? It's, yeah, I don't know. Gotta leave it, because I just don't know. Nice little old recipe box. See the little dovetailing on there? It's nicely constructed. It doesn't have to be for recipes anymore. It's probably like an early 2000s. Holiday Santa cookie press. It's made to look older than it is. And that looks like nail polish that's not gonna come off. So again, I'll have to leave you, but it has a nice look. Is it bigger than a bread box? Am I the only one who like remembers playing like 20 questions and that was like a question that was like a standard question? Well, there, that's the size of a bread box. I can't get it open. And that is an old ice bucket. Can I just say, okay, I don't want to offend anybody who thinks this is cool, but to me, this is so tacky. I'm sorry. I just got to say it. Okay. Why is some of the old stuff so tacky? I just don't understand. I wish she wasn't scratched right down her face because that's a fun little 1991 Kellogg tin. But... She is very scratched right down the middle of her face. Okay, let's see what coolness lies in the metals. <laughs> there is a chicken mold. Six dollars though. Gosh, why? Why, why, why you do this to me? They can do pretty good. I don't know why. I, they just, they don't, they don't bring me joy. They just don't. And that's, I mean, you find them a lot, so I don't really need to rescue it. I know somebody is going to want that. These are kind of cool. Good little fruit baskets in the kitchen. Like nice airflow underneath. I don't need a, I don't need a fruit basket though. I have one that works just fine. See, got some berry baskets. I just picked up some berry baskets. Brand spanking new ones. It's an interesting shaped and colored piece. Yeah, right now I'm I've got kind of a bread and butter cart. I don't have anything high end in the cart yet. And that's just how it goes sometimes. Sometimes you can find some really super good stuff. And then sometimes you just have to get that stuff that's going to keep the sales flowing. That's interesting. I, I think it's plastic. They're getting good with the plastic. It gets the look and feel of pottery. Now I'm looking closely for any more little shades that might have gotten tucked over here in glassware and then there's going to be another section where I'm going to look for them as well. It would be great to find some of the little missing pieces that I need. No, nothing exciting in here. Oh, 
I like those though. Ooh, I like that too. Hold on, bunnies. $7.99, I know, you came from TJ Maxx, but that stuff's expensive, even at TJ Maxx. These are what caught my eye. I love these. They are $7.99. Ah, oh, they're fantastic. I would actually, I would decorate with these, so I'm gonna pick those up. All right, we're in the plastics, a bread buddy. Hmm. Don't think you should, yeah, it's missing something, right? Or no, maybe this one isn't. Because I thought they usually have like a pull to pull the bread out, but this one's just uh, put the bread in kind of a thing. Rachel is like the only one who eats bread in the family and it doesn't last as long as I would like it to. So I'm wondering if I could extend the life of the bread. We've tried the refrigerator. We've done all those things. What are these? Little, little tiny stemless wine glasses, but they're like little baby ones, like little tasters. Cute. Kettle ball. Mm -hmm. Got some blues going here. I love the plastic glasses. I don't have a pool anymore, so I don't really have the same need to have the plastic drinkware for outside. These are fun. How? Club Kahlua. Those might actually have a little value. I'm not going to pick them up, but I'm going to look them up when I get home. Let's see anything too thrilling in the red or the purple what are they red party cup they're just like they're red solo cups that are, so the whole point of a red solo cup is it's disposable so now they make reusable red solo cups okay and i bet they sold like hotcakes when those were out in the store oh that's a shame right there bound to happen. It's you. You are Coda? Uda? I mean, they are California. Those are really, really cool, but not something I... Oh, Coors. Coors China Company. There we go. Out of Inglewood, California. Let me just scooch these all together over here for somebody to find. Those are, actually, those are really cool. Underneath that was this guy hiding. It's an Aztec calendar. Just a wall hanging on wood. It's not very well made. Probably a tourist piece. Hmm. Six bucks. It's kind of cool though, right? It's kind of fun. I just wish it didn't have that. Yep, I'm gonna pass it because of the damage, otherwise I'd have picked that up. Let's see what else we've got. More mid-century dishes, but those don't those don't grab me like the ones I got in a couple videos ago. Like the the ones I got, like they really they they spoke to me. Now I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with them. <laughs> Cause it did pick them up. What does that say? Italian design. Doesn't mean they're made in Italy, just means it's got an Italian design. But I assure you in the marketing, I bet a lot of people thought that they were made in Italy. So they sold. All right. Any mugs speaking to me today? I don't like the glaze at the lip of that one. Otherwise, I really like the color of this mug. It was like a dollar store mug for $1.99. I guess it's like now the $1.25 store. But here's the thing. Had that been like a buck and it was something that I wanted, you know, I would, I'd have no problem buying it here at Goodwill for the same price I could get it for at the dollar store because I don't shop at the dollar store. I don't go to the dollar store. So for me, that's a 
time and expense of getting in the car, going to the dollar store to go get stuff and uh, all of that. So I'd rather pay a little bit more and get it at a place where it's presenting itself easily. Okay, these are really good martini glasses. Unfortunately, there's, oh, if you need to move my cart, you can just, just shove it over there. Um, this is pretty chipped up, but this, these are good. This Artland Prescott, what you got? Oh, those are cute. Oh my gosh. You're not going to get them? Oh, those are actually, those are really adorable. I do have a daughter getting married. I wonder if she likes these. Okay. I like those. Thank you. Okay, that was very, very nice of her. I don't know that I would have spotted that. It was way up high and it didn't look like anything exciting. And that's about all there is. Ooh, putting out new stuff. Nope, somebody just, oh, because I recognize that's already, it's already been out here. Shot glasses. Nope, not my thing. Okay, this is where we really have to keep our eyes peeled. A little shade could just get mixed in here very easily. So that is what we are on the hunt for. That is really pretty. Probably Mikasa. Very, very pretty though. Unfortunately, Mikasa made so many of those. There's there's more supply than there is demand, and that's generally what keeps the price down, even on something that's super pretty. It's that little, that's a little EAPG strawberry dish. It's only 50 cents. You know, I can do something with that. And let's see. Are you mixed in here somewhere? Oh, that's a nice, um, batter mixer thing vintage now yeah it's made to look vintage but it's not very cool all right come on little shades come on little shades come out come out wherever you are if i read the comments and somebody tells me that i passed one i'm going to be heartbroken so only tell me that if you really spot one <laughs> Carly. Carly made that. A little drippage in the glaze there, but nice attempt. Nice attempt, Carly. Oh, sounds like there is a piano here. Everybody thinks that they are a piano player when there is a piano in the thrift store. I bet the employees are so happy when the piano finally sells. These are cool. I had a little platter and it got cracked and I'm super upset by that. These don't sell for a whole lot and uh, I have to follow my own rule and not pick them up, but they are cool. I do like them. I picked up all of these little glass jars because when I go on a trip, I can preload little jars like this with the fish tanks food and freeze them so that all whoever is watching the tanks for me can, has to do is when they feed, pull the next one out so it's defrosted by the time it's feeding time again and everybody's portions are set and I don't have to worry about overfeeding or underfeeding. Noah did a fantastic job with this system so I just picked up some more. Okay, I don't think we're gonna find anything else. Okie dokie, we are in the cookware now. Oh, that's a nice set of salt and peppers. Oh, that looks like it's gotten warped, right? That's a shame. Even though it's the pepper shaker is worth the five bucks though. Ooh, they're not bringing out a whole cart. They're just uh, putting, oh, those are probably go backs he's putting out. These are our older ones. Even just as decorative purposes, those are super cool. I'm gonna grab those. All right, we got small appliances. Definitely not my thing. 
but we always look for anything that might be hiding betwixt and between. Yeah, that's like a go back cart. All right, we're looking through office supplies and crafty stuff. It's a nice uh, jewelry box. I wonder if they'd let me have this for like 99 cents. Because I would like to put a nice piece of jewelry in it when I sell one. I feel like that tucks somewhere. Oh, that might tuck underneath here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how that goes. Look at that. Fixed it. You know what? I'm going to see if they'll give this to me for like 99 cents. Okay, the art on this struck me. Look at her. 1970s, 1977 to be exact. Look at all these little vintage paintbrushes. Oh, oh, what is this? Oh, oh, there's a whole story on the back. Okay, that's fabulous. I'm grabbing that. I don't know what I'm doing with this, but I love this crinkly paper stuff. I have used it when I have been like decorating on a showcase it seems like it would be super messy but it's really it's paper it's just paper so it's not I got all different colors things I'm gonna do something with it <sighs> that is uh I think that's a very used brake rotor is that the rotor I don't know I know a little bit about cars but enough to know it's something but not something I want. Okay, bathroom goodies. I see a strawberry peeking at me here. Let's see what he is. He's just, just a little strawberry box. It's kind of fun. Magnetic erase board for fridge. Ooh, that could be super useful, actually. Uh, for leaving notes for the kids? What do you think, Noah? I think we could make really good use of this. Look at all these Sky Vodka bar things. Ooh, there's like pieces in there. Napkin? I want to say they're napkin holders. $7.99. I don't know. It's probably have some value. Not for me, though. Um... Sometimes you see something you've never seen before. And you have to get a closer look. <laughs> this is a painted gourd nativity lamp. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's vintage. It's half price. Is she going to do it? Is she going to do it? I guess you're just going to have to wait for the recap to find out if I did it or not. All right, let's see. What else is in the lamp department today? That is fabulous and cool. I guess that was it. Huh. This is like their new wall. Uh, they put electronics. This, this store is now set up like the new stores that they're setting up, which is really cool. And then there was lava lamps. <gasps> How much are you? These are reproductions, 2018, but still have great value on the resale market. I really don't want to ship lava lamps though, but that's a pretty cool find right there for somebody. Okay, who knows what that is? All right, they've got a lot of furniture and big items here. My eye went to this, of course. 30 bucks, that's not a bad price. I actually have one, so I will leave this for somebody else, but I think I paid like 60 for mine. Somebody's gonna snag that. Ooh, look at this cool bar. It's got the wine holder, and then you hold the wine glasses on the side. It's got a leather top, a little, little chunked up. 40 bucks though. That's pretty cool. I wish I had a spot for it. Not one piano, but two pianos and an organ. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of digging these picnic tables. All right, let's peek at some art. Oh, those are pretty. Those are really like elegantly pretty. I don't have a spot for them and they're a little bigger than I want to ship for that sort of art. They're not, ooh, not like high-end art that would be worth 
the hassle factor. All right, let's look over at the small art. There's some Maxine's. Never ask a lady her age and don't ask me either. <laughs> These are five bucks each. If we could just find 10 people around here who would give 110%, then I wouldn't have to do anything at all. Oh, she is so classic. I may be old, but people who look like me always win the lottery. <laughs> Shabby is chic now. I knew I was ahead of my time. Oh my gosh, I love you, Maxine. If it was senior day, I'd probably pick those up at 40% off. Oh, well, that's quite interesting. It's paper. That one's a little, that one's a little messed up. Poor little guy. That's really kind of cool, but a little too messed up for me. Let's look over here. Anything, anything. Nope. So now they hang a lot of art back here in the back, which I love. I love the hung up art. That's an interesting still life. Tom, Tommy gal or Tomico. Uh, there's a lot of things that lead me to believe that this is, you know, not like super fine art. You, you spend enough time around art and you will learn some of the things that just make a master artist. Plus it's scratched, but it's good. It's not great. Let's see. That's pretty cool. Like that. And you know I love him. Is that Crush or, oh no, that's, wait. Is Crush the little guy or is that his, which one is Crush? Let's see what we've got on this wall. That's an interesting print. Oh, what have we got? Artist Proof, Wyoming Waterfall. Oh gosh. Oh, I hate when the signatures are so hard to make out. I think it's Ruger, right? What do you guys see? Tell me in the comments what you see. Okay, their pillows are now here in the back on the back wall. And there's not much to look at today. And they've moved all of their textiles back here as well. Kind of see if there's anything exciting. No, we don't need towels. Got placemats and tablecloths. Those look like Pioneer Women. Are there more than one? Oh, there's only one. No, there's more than one. There's two. There's two. Oh, wait, here's a matching table skirt. Oh, it's a table skirt. Table runner. You are purple, which makes you half price. Okay, all right, now we're now we're getting somewhere. We got the two placemat. Oh my gosh, they're all coming together. Don't worry, I'll pick them up. I'll pick them up <laughs> because they're purple too. But I feel like these all go together, right? Same bird? Oh, it is the same bird. Okay, these will be 50 cents each. So I think I can get that out. So a dollar. So. It's pretty, right? It's going to be four bucks for the whole set. I am running into some of the nicest people here at this Goodwill today. It's been such an enjoyable shopping trip. I really, I offered it because she thought it was really pretty too, and I did offer it to her. I just want you to know, I did. I don't need anything to stay in this cart. So if somebody really wants something, I'm going to let them have it. Oh, this looks like someone's quilting project. They sewed all these stars together and then didn't finish. Oh my goodness. Wow. That's a lot of work done already. That looks like a vintage baby blanket. I'm not sure that anybody does this style anymore with the little tufts of the yarn. Oh, this is really sweet with the little, I mean, it is clowns. I wish it wasn't clowns. How much are you? $3.99. I'm tempted. I'm really, really tempted to save this. This is going to bring back memories for someone. It is a little, it's a little grungy. Okay. Well, 
All right, I don't want to have to wash it. Somebody else will save it. Somebody else will come along. All right, I am back to skimming some departments that I've been skipping for a while just because of the new listing and fulfillment service that I am using. I just have to find it and then someone else does all the work. So if I find something that is worth spending the money to have somebody else do it, I'm definitely going to pick it up. All right, let's look at the purses. They do mix their designer and non-designers together now. That's a Betsy Johnson for 20 bucks. Not the cutest Betsy Johnson I've ever seen. I kind of like the flowery, fun, whimsical ones. Oh, you've got a flamingo on you. Who are you? You are very dirty though. That is too bad. Those are cute. Dollar fifty. Looks like these are a little handmade. They're I think they're made from um, bags. I'm trying to remember. Do I need that? I don't need them. I mean, they're not like a big dollar seller, and my cart's pretty full of stuff, so. Don't really need to get any more filler stuff. This is a fun little purse. Let's see, are you vintage? Let's see. Hold on. What do we got here? Man made materials. That is apparent. There's no name, no date, no nothing to tell us how old it is six dollar okay i think i think i'm gonna leave it but that was cute uh let's see oh that's kind of nice no very cheap quality once i got my hands on it there's another betsy <laughs> i don't know the little dingle balls Mm, I'm going to say no. Okay, they've got a new jewelry rack here. It doesn't even have any scratches in it yet. I'm sure that will come. So today is the first day of the purple tags. That is why there are so many in there. So I am going to look at a few things that first they have eye appeal but then you got to get them in your hands and find out how they're made the materials the quality which I am no expert on by any means but I'm learning a lot and I learn by getting my hands on them that ring that ring right right there looks interesting I'll take a peek at that Oh, look at that turquoise. I can tell this is cheap turquoise, but that's... Nah, I think it's cheap turquoise. Okay. Now that I look at it. All right, let me see what I can find. All right, there was just nothing good in there. That ring had so much glue and fakeness to it. Like, ooh, I think it was like a stainless steel band. Um, yeah, we're going to head to the checkout. Stay tuned for the recap. Find out if I bought the lamp or not. Hmm, what do you say? Put a guess down in the comments. All right, that's coming up.
I couldn't resist it. I mean, come on. Where else are you going to find another one of those? The price was right. Um, I didn't end up getting the little jewelry box because they wanted to charge me $2.99, which is not a bad price. It just doesn't make sense for me to add $3 to the cost of goods of something when I have other boxes that I spend much less on. Uh, and I can pick those up at like yard sales and that kind of thing too. So I tried, 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 tried to get them to do it for $1.99. Wouldn't do it. It's all good. It's all good. Uh, this was a fun trip. I was here a long time. Longer than normal. So now it's time to get home because I have some shipping to do. And if you have made it all the way to the end here, I just want to ask that you check your subscription status uh, because a lot of people have gotten unsubscribed. YouTube just does that sometimes. They just unsubscribe you. And I am working so, so hard to get to 100,000 subscribers. It's going to happen soon. And I am super excited. And I thank you for making that happen. All right. With that, you go be profitable and make it fun. We'll see you on the next one.